Hi, I'm Ross. Um, if you're watching Head to Wind, I'm going to show you how to rig a mop. So, first things first, mask together. Nothing complicated there. Oh. Ready. Okay, so first thing to remember is make sure you get your mast the same side of all of your cams. Uh, if it's the mast is either side of the cams, it just feels really, really hard to put the sail on, put the cams on. So I personally go on top of all the cams as I feed the mast up. I normally get stuck just before the top. Save a bit of time, you can do the top couple of cams can normally go straight on the mast. So. Okay. Okay, so next up, top two cams are on. So you need to work your way down from top of the sail towards the bottom, um, popping the cams on as you go. So. So the easiest way, just grab the cam, twist it sideways, pop it on the mast, pull out all that slack so it doesn't fall off, and then repeat with the next one, give it some slack, twist, pop it on, pull it down. Also make sure all the battens are popped the same direction. And that'll just give you the most slack possible and make life easy. Yeah. Cool, uh, next up is the, uh, the bottom two. They uh, are more difficult, but if you pop the sail, hook it onto the beak here, uh, it generally gives you enough slack. And then you can pop the last couple of cams on. There we go. Pull it all tight. That way the cam shouldn't pop off. And then zip up all but the bottom cam. Okay, cool. Now it's important at this point, or before this point, make sure you've got the breeze blowing straight onto the mast, because uh, if it's under the sail at all, it'll flip over and uh, cause you all sorts of issues. So make sure you've got the wind kind of coming from the side, hitting the wing, hitting the mast, and uh, hopefully your rig won't blow away. So save time, I leave my shrouds attached to the boat. So next up is just the, uh, the shroud fitting. It's normally pretty easy, but this is a new mast, so it's a bit tight. So it's a really good idea with a moth, as there's a few bits that can get fiddly, get tight. Just um, have a little bag full of some spares. I've got uh, some grips, uh, Allen keys and so on. 
and that just makes life easier rather than rather than mashing your hands up when you're rigging if something's tight just get an old tool on it get it done fiddly bit done. Next up, fourth day goes on. Uh, I just use a, uh, a kind of tied on fourth day, really basic, just to make it easier to change between different rigs, different sails and so on. Um, and initially I'm just going to tie that really, really loose. So I've got plenty of slack to lift the rigging. Also, I've got adjustable shrouds here, so I'm going to make sure these are loose again to make it easy to lift the rig in. And the top tip with these and, uh, and with the other controls, which I'll do now as well, is because you've got these elastic take ups always fighting you, pull against the take up, pop a little stopper on in, and do that on all the controls you're about to use. So I'm going to do it on my, uh, my shrouds, my kicker. So, and that would just mean the elastic isn't going to pull and work against me. Okay. Cool. Once that's on, spin ahead to win. black lines that line up, brings them up to the right mast rake. That's just the shrouds going tight. Okay, so next up, grab our bag of bits again. So there's a few different ways of doing this. I tend to use a, um, a boat breaker just to make life a bit easier whilst rigging. Uh, De-rigging, you don't actually need it, but it's just easier for rigging. So it's the basic, basic system, cleat, couple of pulleys, just gives you some purchase. And it's effectively a downhaul to then allow you to get your downhaul on. up onto the sail, ties down to anywhere strong on the boat. Just crank that on as hard as we possibly can. And the reason this is unzipped 
can tend to get a bit stuck, so pull that down, and it should be good after that. Zip that up. Cool. Good. So, that's the cunning one. Just gonna pull the slack out of that. And then remove the boat breaker. Bit of gentle persuasion. So, Cunningham's on. Next thing to do, really crank the Cunningham on as hard as you can. The more you pull the Cunningham on, the more the mast will bend. So the lower the clue will get, and the easier it will be to actually get your boom on with sufficient kicker. So, just gonna keep pulling. I can. Check this cam. Good. So, same thing with the kicker. I'm going to pop a little stopper knot in. Stop that elastic working against us. And just get the whole load of slack. Bag of tools again. So I've got a um, I've got a bag for my boom. I don't care about the boom getting scratched at all. Uh, it's actually to protect everything else. So when there's some breeze and you're rigging up, you need to get this end on first. The moment you do that and the mast is rotating, the boom tends to swing around, tends to knock the back of your boat to pieces, scrape up all your tramps, and everything's gonna fall out. So bag's actually just really useful to protect everything else on the boat. Good, so the cunning and pulled nice and tight. Shouldn't be too hard to get the uh, get the boom attached now. We've got some slack. With no cunning, this would actually be up here and it'd be a right, right pain. So it should be easy now. And you don't tend to adjust the outhaul in the moth uh, while sailing. It's kind of no point. Um, you want it pretty flat and uh, as you pull the other controls on, the sail gets fuller or flatter in the, in the foot anyway. So tend to just have it fixed. What I've done here is because I've got a couple of different sails and experimenting around, I've got a uh, really long outhaul fitting with little grooves and you literally just tie it into the appropriate groove um, and it just sits there and holds it. So it just gives you lots of flexibility. So I want number four. Like in most boats, lasers and so on. Just gonna pull this as tight as we can. Yeah. 
mainly so I can get under the boom. Oh, so, hour done. Take the slack out of the kicker and remove all these little stopping arts so just be able to pull the tail end and they will pop straight out. Make sure everything's pleated. Probably ease the cunning them slightly. Cool, so just a quick check over, make sure it looks, uh, looks as it should, and, uh, and that's them off, ready to, uh, ready to go.